Hello, my name is Martin from Revelation Software and I'd like to welcome you to this series of videos that's going to be looking at getting started with Open Insight. Uh, over the course of the videos we're going to be looking at all of the main controls within Open Insight, so how to go about building the underlying database, the tables, forms, lookup windows, reports, etc. Initially we'll be looking at putting a small desktop application together and then a bit later we'll look at moving that to the web with some of the Open Insight web technologies. However, before I do that, I just want to spend a few minutes answering a question that I get asked most times when I'm in a sales presentation, and that is, how easy is Open Insight to use, and how quickly can I become productive with the product? For the longest time, my standard answer was, the product is very easy to use, it's very intuitive, therefore you're going to get to grips with it very quickly, you're going to be able to build solutions very quickly, and because of the nature of the product, you'll become productive very quickly. However, anybody can say that. So, with the release of version 9, the toolset was maturing very, very nicely, and there was an awful lot that you could do with the product without any formal training. Now, I haven't had any formal training on Open Insights. I've had no formal training on application development, although I use a lot of software products, particularly Windows products. Um, but I decided to see how far I could go with the product using the resources that are readily available to any developer um, that's new to Open Insight. So the result is what you're seeing on the screen here. Um, we'll have a look at a few of the windows in a moment. But this application took me about six weeks of evenings, working in my own time, two or three hours uh, a day. And it really shows what you can do in a short period of time. Because if you were doing that using normal working hours, you should be able to produce this from the scratch with no knowledge of Open Insight in around about two weeks. Once you become proficient with the tool set and you understand how it fits together and how things work, you should be able to do it in about a week. And then a seasoned developer that's got their own code libraries and bits and pieces already built, um, probably do this in just, just a few days. I started to build this to see how far I could push Open Insight and that was great. But then I realized that the styles that I was using within the application, there's a mix of styles in here, led very nicely to it being a demo application. So what you're looking at here is readily available, free of charge, for you to use. Now you can either use it as a runtime, as it's supplied, or you can drop your development or your evaluation engine into the software, and then you can go behind the scenes and have a look at the code and how it was built. So the application was built to a requirement of a specific individual. I spoke to them, documented what they need, and what they needed to do primarily was manage their photographs. So their photographs are held on disks, and there's hundreds of disks and which photograph is where. So they needed a way of cataloging them and then finding the disk. So within the application, uh, there's uh, buttons at the top here that run most of it. So if we go into DB Admin, now this is an example of a, an MDI window and if we click on the countries button we get a MDI child in here where you're just setting up your countries media types you can go in here do a look up I've got image video and sound you have different media types you can do whatever so this is just a very simple example of an MDI frame calling an MDI child in the address book this is for capturing copyright information primarily um, however, in here we've got links out to websites, we've got uh, the ability to click a button, it will launch your email client and send uh, send an email straight out, so I'm linking out to um, Outlook here. Um, but it also has a simple collector window, so the name here you can't edit, but if you click on the button, in the database I'm saving the detail as title, first name, middle name and last name when you write that back into the form it will bring all of that information together and display it under the communications this is where you could um, have emails phone calls but this is an example of using a drop down uh, within an edit table and on the notes button there's a rich text edit box here so if we close out of there obviously we need to add media and this particular window it shows how you can be using images, how if you click on a button you can go out to the Windows Explorer to interact with the Windows operating system and camera information. Now camera information is very interesting because this is a .NET control that I'm using within my application and when you take an image 
with a digital camera it creates a JPEG and within the JPEG it captures a lot of information so here I can see that it was taken with my Canon 20D I can see the ISO speed the aperture a whole load of information now this is all readily available to you and I'm just using a .NET control to display that information in this particular application uh, the add disk very straightforward again this particular window uh, there's a calendar control on here um, and there's a media file lookup um, I can fill in different prompts in here so I could say you know media ID 10 or a file name um, casino for instance click OK and it will tell me which uh, where to find those um, again that's all functionality that's built into the products so you really don't need to do very much work at all um, there is a search facility in here so if I say give me all disks with Milo in them then I'll get a, a list back of disks that have got um, images that have got Milo in the description and I just select disk number one and it returns that data now this edit table is quite interesting as well because if I was to click on ID for uh, a line item here then it will pop up that record and I can edit view that record however if I double click on the media file name column here then it will just give me a print preview also built into this is the ability to um, double click on an empty row and I can do a search on keyword so let's put in here um, static and I could pick one or more records to go in here I'll just pick one for now so OK that I can go in here and click this row or multiple rows if I want to I'll just collect the one and I can delete those rows from this particular disk there's also the ability to um, have the buttons turning off and on so if I go back into the media library for instance and I just pull up a record the buttons are enabled here if I was to make a change so just put a full stop in there and I was to hit the save button then obviously I get the record clears and the buttons are disabled accordingly now as I said this application is readily available to you and uh, I've built some additional documentation for you so there is a, a user guide in here that takes you through how to actually use the application should you wish to use it but more importantly I have created a developers briefing or what I call a developers briefing which will look at each of the windows and the functionality the special functionality that you can find within the window so let's say for instance you want to work with dotnet controls then you can look in here and using a wrapper to interact with the dotnet control um, you can see that there's an example of that on the MP media window so you could launch that window have a look at how things are done now also within here you will see that the uh, document is headed up with the form name and then under that how I did things and it includes the source code as well so this is a great little document that backs up the application um, the application also goes on further where I have um, a help system in here which is an example of consuming web controls so this is effectively a web page that is being displayed within Open Insight but it lends itself quite nicely to a little help system for my application using HTML pages anyway I uh, won't spend any more time looking at this if you would like a copy then simply drop me an email um, info at revsoft.co.uk and I'll be more than happy to send you a copy of this for you to use in the meantime if you haven't already downloaded the evaluation software please download the evaluation load it onto your system and then have a look at the lessons which will take you through building your first application thank you very much for your time today bye bye